Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Pretty crazy out there, huh? I know we have a lot to catch up on. But first, I have to ask. Did you finish the inoculation against the Scorched Plague? Please, it's vitally important. Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. I knew I could count on you. I'll work on finding a way to make enough of the inoculation for everyone. You just get them all to agree. Judging by the... architecture... The ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Thank you. Really. It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful out there. Something on your mind? All right, go ahead. Well, let me see. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I think that's everything. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? For both of us. Appalachia has changed. We've changed. I... You're welcome. I'm just glad I can be here in person now. I hope they helped.
That's just it. I don't know. I thought they had let me into their plans, that we were special. But now I'm wondering if we were all just one big experiment to them. Just like everyone else. And what happens once there's more nukes landing on Appalachia than she can take? I know. You did what you were asked. A and so did I. But now we need to think for ourselves more. Build the America and the Appalachia we want. I... <sighs> Thank you. Now. I don't get to let go of this that easily. I abandoned him. Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take off on my own, huh? Oh. <laughs> At first, I was just racing ahead, hoping that if there was any trouble, I'd hit it first. And then there were the nukes, the scorched plague. Seeing my old neighborhood bombed to pieces. I, I needed time. Me too. Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. Dweller, how's it going? I came from a vault just like you. Ah, you've never heard of it. It's really far away and hidden. Like, really hidden. I don't even know how to get to it. Like, at all. Ah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Whatever needs doing. Ward says he's still trying to figure out what I'm best at. Ward's in charge out here. Well, uh, he'll say he ain't, but he is. Of course, he reports to Paige for the big stuff. But when he points, they all jump. I reckon it's because he always puts Foundation ahead of himself. As for the rest of them, I'm still getting to know everyone. Let me know if you see any repairs I should add to my list. The ever-growing, unending list. Everyone pulls their own weight at Foundation. Well, uh, this is a little awkward. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because <laughs> we're already kind of here. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. 
Awfully polite. Guess that's as good a start as any. More than we've learned to expect at any rate. Inoculated? This some kind of a scare tactic? Huh? That might just explain a few things. But you're saying it's an infection. All my people are at risk? Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor. Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp. Get the lay of things. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. Deal? Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. If we can get the flock big enough, we can add chicken to them. Since the war, I've been sort of scrabbling along, with my book, making the best. I have enough time to write some more, and that's exactly what I aim to do. But in order to do that, I need a place to stay for a bit. And if you have a place, well, I would be happy to watch it for you. To tell you some stories, I'm a wealth of practical knowledge. I think I just might. Maybe just for a short while. Enough to catch my breath and rest my bones. Set out a comfy chair for me, will you? I need to pick up some of my things, and I'll be there soon. By the way, you can call me Gramps if you like. Everybody who knows me does. something.
Stay back. You with those things? Huh? Answer me. He did? Never seen you before. You one of the locals? You got a hell of a welcoming party here, you know that? They hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in? God, I don't know how long I've been here. Yes, I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? Thanks. I, um, yeah. I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much to repay you. <laughs> well, I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Those things are caused by infection? If that's the case, Paige needs to know as soon as possible. Any disease that can claim a human mind and turn us against ourselves is a major threat. How is it spread? And what's the incubation period? The symptoms? Is there a treatment? Thank God for that. If there's an inoculation, we need to get that to Foundation yesterday. This disease of yours is no joke. Thanks again. I'll be damn sure to avoid those things on my way back. What did Aubrey have to say about this disease you keep talking about? Damn it. <sighs> Looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. the hell are you? Well, ain't I flattered. Sure she ain't gonna be too happy to see those scorch rolled over us like nothing. With my luck, I'm just gonna end up like one of them things. Solutions? Uh, best news I heard all day. You got some cure or something? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. Well, what the hell is it then? Do I look like I'm in the mood for bullshit right now? You want to kill me? 
Hey, I, I don't think I'm quite ready for drastic measures here. There's no guarantee I'll be one of them. Please. Look, I, I'm begging you. Just say you never saw me. No one has to know, and you'll never see me again. Quick and painless, huh? You expect me to be thankful for that? No. You gotta let me live. Wounds like these, and I ain't going anywhere. Just let me die here. And if I turn scorched, I ain't getting out of here anyway. Jesus, man, I can't barely handle what I'm dealing with now. Fine. Just do it. I just want it to end. Come on! You said it'd be quick! Appalachia belongs to us, and there ain't nobody that can prove me wrong. Look who finally showed up! Where's Aldrich? Shit. I knew Aldrich was taking too long. You know, these people have been following me for a long time. I knew the risk coming back here, but... Find that trove? We're set. I can't afford to let him down. Not after we've come this far. As much as I hate to believe it, you're right. And besides, we made a deal. I'll make the announcement. You hold up your end of the bargain. Be seeing you real soon, 7-6.
You're back. You get those settlements to see that they need our help? Good. I knew I could count on you. I've been looking into where we can mass produce the inoculation. Some of the obvious choices are messy. But if you just sit back and ask yourself, who could have manufactured a lot of specially formulated liquid in sterile packaging, it becomes obvious. Exactly. Great minds, huh? The local plant even has all the equipment to make experimental beverages. Perfect for us hacking in the inoculation. The current occupants were giving me some trouble, though. I could use your help on this one. Meet you there? This is it. We need to get the power up and running and reformulate the machines for the inoculation. Fire everything up and try not to get killed. Coca-Cola scientists were trying chemical substitutions to make new flavors. That's how we're gonna trick it into making the inoculation. We just need to figure out how to mix soda ingredients to produce human antibodies. Easy, right? That's added your blood sample as an ingredient. I guess that technically makes you Nuka-Cola's newest flavor. Actually, maybe don't think about that too much. Reminds me of the equipment back at the Vault Tech Ag Center. Let me know if you want me to take over. That's it! Now we just need to restart the reactor, then we can manufacture the formula.
help but wonder what it was like to actually work here. I mean, can you believe this?
freedom from the plague in a bottle. While you're handing those out, I'll start. We did a good thing here. You should be proud. Seems like got that vaccine yet? What's this? Nuka Cola? Nice looking label, I guess. What gives? Well, I guess I should be impressed if you went to all the trouble of making it easy to take. Still don't know what to think of you, Vault Dweller. But, well, saving us from your plague is a good start. You watch out for you and yours out there. You taking your sweet time with that inoculation? This is the inoculation you promised? Bottles of Nuka? You best start talking, 7-6. Clearly. And you can spare me the details. Wouldn't want you to hurt that brain of yours trying to use all the fancy words. I'll make sure it gets distributed. Looks like you're off the hook, 7-6. See you around. You've delivered the inoculation? Ha! <sighs> what a relief, huh? We'll get shipments up and running in case that first batch wasn't enough. Look, I know you're doing more than your fair share of the work. Don't think I didn't notice. Thank you. Now that one crisis is over, it's time we start working on that mystery in the mountains. Have you heard the latest? Wise ass. It's a vault, okay? Vault 79. We don't have a way in, but I think I have a plan to at least find out what's inside. Every student who graduates Vault Tech University has a story about the restricted wing, where all the higher-ups would have their meetings. And not just stuffy professors and their Mr. Handy assistants. I mean sit-downs with government officials, the military. Over 25 years in the making for me, but it's time to finally see what it's hiding. Meet you there?